Hello there friends. A number of management gurus and also spiritual gurus are talking increasingly in terms of uh, managing stress. It is being said that stress is reaching such proportions that it is beginning to have perceptible and imperceptible impact generally adverse on we human beings. And the management gurus basically are saying that when we say stress management, we are actually talking in terms of strain management. Stress is an external phenomenon. You don't have much control over it. Not everyone can leave his family and job and go to the Himalayas to do meditation. So what do you do? It's about managing how much you strain under that stress. People talk in terms of, it's not about the cards that the life deals you with, but about how you play the game. Now, India is a very ancient civilization and sometimes exactly what the modern management and the spiritual gurus are talking about lies embedded in our ancient Indian Hindu philosophy or Buddhist philosophy. But very rarely would you find something which is actually engraved in stone and that also in type of edifices monuments, architectures that go before the era of Christ. Now, putting that into a slight bit of uh, autobiographical context, in the Lok Sabha elections of uh, 2014, I was slotted for election observer duty to rise in Vidisha, which is a constituency just close to Bhopal. And uh, Mrs. Sushma Swaraj won that uh, Lok Sabha election. But the most attractive part from a tourist angle, from an architectural angle, is the Sanchi Stupas. Sanchi Stupa is actually situated in a small town called Sanchi, which is the Tasil headquarters. Raisin is the district headquarter, and the parliamentary constituency together is generally referred to as Raisin Vidisha. Now, what is this Sanchi Stupa? Stupas all over the country were built over relics of Gautam Buddha. And the one in Sanchi is arguably the biggest and the most well-preserved. It was built by none other than Emperor Ashoka, who had embraced Buddhism. His wife Devi, who belonged to the nearby town of Vidisha, was daughter of a merchant and she's stated to actually have supervised the construction of the stupa. It's a hemispherical dome and generally the date attributed with great deal of accuracy is 3rd century BC. And thereafter, in the 1st century BC, the gateways were added on all the four sides. Even today, Sanchi stupa is basically the logo of the Archaeological Survey of India and apart from everything else is among the UNESCO's World Heritage Sites and so on. But how do we connect the two together, the stress management and how we take life and the story around Sanchi Stupa? Now, if you go around, you find gateways and on one particular gateway, you find four yakshas, those cherubi spirits generally benign, can sometimes be mischievous, holding a lot of weight, which actually forms the horizontal stone of these gateways. There are four gateways and on one of them, on one of the pillars, you find these four yakshas. And I had the good luck to be there and to actually photograph, which I'm trying to intersperse into this small video. Now, if you see, any civil engineer would also tell you that they are bearing the same load. They are similarly placed and they are bearing the same weight of the horizontal stone pillar. But if you see the facial expressions on each of them, it is different. From being bored, from intense agony, to really light-hearted humor. So what is the story what is the message the message is the buddhist philosophy 
that again it is not what happens to you it is how you react to it it is your attitude towards it here are the four yakshas subjected to the same level of stress but each of them reacting fundamentally different so a message cast in stone and even more than 2000 years after they were engraved there there's a lesson for us to draw that it is not about what life throws at us it is our attitude it is how we react to it so i thought i would share those with a view to let us know how our ancient civilization not only had a philosophy not only did they practice it not only did they disseminate it but also they have put it literally in stone cast in stone and if we still are not able to draw our lessons i don't think we have anyone to blame so friends to summarize the stories of jatakas the tales of buddha in his previous lives cast in the gateway stones through the expression of these yakshas you find how to deal with life whatever be the things and events maintain an equanimous state of mind which is precisely what lord krishna told arjuna to maintain an equanimous state of mind irrespective of the highs and lows of life that is what a karma yogi is and that is exactly what those yakshas in this buddhist structure dating back to first century before christ they are telling you so friends let us not be perturbed by the so sorrows and joys which come and go let us take life as it comes follow our dharma our inner calling and leave the rest to god because the phal the consequences are not ours they depend upon the divine and your job is merely to put in your best so thanks for tuning in friends if you think that these short videos are going to be useful to you and some of your friends particularly please do share comment and subscribe we'll be in touch see you later